welcome back to our school management playlist uh, so in the last video we discussed about uh, how we can import classrooms with sections where we have classroom model section model and the classroom sections model right so we try to import that so i'll just put the link of this playlist in the description so you can check from there so now in this video uh, we are not doing dive into any models or resources so in this video we are we will set up the multi-language support in our filament application so for that so the everything that you need to know about localization in laravel i have written a short uh, short and descriptive uh, article here uh, you can check i will put the link in the description so you can obviously check the article from here so it's not everything uh, you need to know but it will help you a lot and also you can easily get the uh, i have also put the official link of the description and regarding the filament so what we have will be doing is we'll be using the plugin for now right so you can do from yourself also but i think it will be easier and it will take less time if you will use plugin so okay so let me first start from the uh, language uh, so for now you, if you see here we don't have any kind of lang files right so first of all let's try to run the language then we'll move in the filament for the language switcher okay so if i click here php artisan lang publish so it will get us the lang folder so if you go here you can see the one en so where we have auth.php pagination password and validation right so if you want any other language like spain sorry so what we will do oh. just a second let me delete everything and let me re do it okay so here i can copy e and share make it let's say es so for spin so it's the language code right that we will be needing so now suppose uh, okay so the next way the first one is this where everything will be on the basis of keys and values so if you want to use anything for example app uh, filament resource suppose if i go here uh, an academic session resource so here is the name right so it will not be directly translatable so either i can use i need to use translate level the first option okay the second option will be level underscore underscore we can use the we can use the a uh, helper method to translate that right so if we use this level so we here we can pass our level so for example let's say en let's say i will just make it resource.php right so here we just need to uh, return an array so now for example uh, resource dot okay resource is already here the first key so i will just say academic session dot name and let's say academic session name for now okay this is just the test that i am trying to show you so en resource if i now for to use this what i can do is i need to pass the key so first thing is the file name so inside the language i have resource right so resource dot and the key name academic session dot name so i need to copy this i need to paste this so now if i go here and i think i have used in the uh, form right if i go here you can see academic session name let me try okay let me give the name space sorry space yeah that's it so this is one way the second way is instead of en and es we can have a complete json file okay so in the json file also we'll just uh, add a, a file with the json structure and just the key and values okay so here i can say resource dot name name if name and then name then sorry name then automatically in every place if there is name it will try to if and the language is en if for spain it should be es right 
so in that way it will work so i am not going deep dive into this okay so let me just delete this file because i highly recommend this way so the package that we will be using is so if you go down here the above information is how we are going to store what are the things and the second thing is the package here so i'll just either you can check the package where everything will be right so i have also written the short article how we can use that okay so first thing is to install the package obviously and after that we'll just uh, publish this the configuration so from where we can get the much more information and m we can edit on our own okay yeah so let me just show you this first so here you can see available locales locales so the first one is english and the flag similarly now if you need any amount of uh language you can obviously choose the update here right so after that uh, okay we don't and here is the language switcher if we want the language switcher or not here and also we can register it for example currently uh it's registered on user menu before render hook so if you want to change this you can and if you don't have an idea on how what how many or what are the render hooks uh, you can find the article in this page i think i have written all the render hooks okay so and the navigation group are here if you need anything right and here is also quick translate navigation registration page uh, page i will show you this what does this mean and the show flags so now the next thing is we need to migrate the we need to publish the migration file okay it does not have or it was already published okay you have to update the following migrations okay we need to create by our own because it did not migrate to us migrate it okay i will look at uh in the second so uh, let's first try to register this in our admin panel provider so to register it okay i have already here so the name is uh, translation manager plugin right translation translation manager plugin make so if i refresh here yeah here you can see i now have english and netherland right perfect so if i go here quick translate it is showing me 403 i'll talk about this just a second and here is that so we need to add the uh, app service provider here in the boot method we just need this mm, get okay this is just trying to check the rules to access that but now for now i can just pass through okay here you can see so i have two languages so the reason of this so the the case is for the migration file so you must need to create by yourself if it does not migrate so here it has already provided all the migration things right so i will not uh, talk about this now uh, so th what does this do is uh, here if we sort the en it will automatically load all the keys from our uh, files and store them in the database so that either we can modify them which will be easier for us okay so okay if i go here and click netherlands see something are changed in the dutch language so now how we are going to change this so simple so if i go to ac sorry academic session resource obviously i can call the public function get uh, navigation oh i just forgot the name navig navigation filament uh, navigation level right okay navigation oh, okay it should be protected static method that is static uh, function get navi navigation level 
get navigation lb a level i should get the error yes because it should have a written type of string i think it should be this st string or what let me oh i'm browsing three let me quickly search here mm. okay yeah this one okay it is public my bad okay so if i go here now get navigation level now what i can do is return i will use the helper method for translation and let's say since it's the navigation i'll just create a new folder navigation and let's say academic academic session so now to use this what i need to do is simply language en so i'll just create a new method file navigation right so let me just copy everything from my resource okay navigation.php so now here the key is i have used this academic session right academic session let me remove this academic session okay let me try to translate this in language translator detect language uh, it should be dots okay so this is in the uh, netherlands right so the key for uh, okay let me just copy paste so the key for netherland was nl right so inside nl inside the academic uh, resource header navigation i need to copy this one right so now if i go here and refresh the navigation if you see here it's m academic sce ssie i am in dots right if you just focus on this highlighted one if i click on english it is academic session and if i click on netherlands see it is changed to dots so in this way we can easily translate them right so you just need to f so for everything you need to create in this way i so so what i recommend is just uh, create the flamant uh, you work on this uh, dot method uh, rather than the json file work on this uh, file folder right if i go here on knepa for example knepa okay if i show you here on different packages so here let's say resources if i show here in language resources so here you can see they are using the transwise which is also method so here is the translation level so it is also working on the basis of key values so this is the good way rather than work, uh, adding all the things on the json format okay uh thank you guys for watching this